The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, today we are going to talk about an athlete's foot. Yes, athlete's foot is a, a disease. It's an infection which is because of a fungal, fungal infection in the feet and its medical term is tinea pedis. It is also called ringworm of the foot. Ringworm is not a worm, it's a fungus, yes. And it is very common in athletes, that's why it's called athlete's foot. So today we are going to talk about what causes athlete's foot, what are the tests, what are the symptoms, what are the treatment, everything. Stay tuned. So, what causes such a fungal infection in the foot of an athlete? Uh, see. In this case, fungus actually grows on the skin of the feet and the same fungus can actually grow on other parts of the body as well. However, the feet is the most commonly affected, especially between the toes. An athlete's first is most commonly because of most commonly because of a type of a fungus called tinea, right? And this fungus basically thrives on warm and moist areas and you will have a higher risk of having this problem if you are wearing a very closed shoes especially which are lined by plastics because plastic won't allow airs to go inside and that's why your foot will be wet and moist and if you actually keep your foot wet for a long time if you sweat a lot or if you actually develop a minor scratch or minor skin or nail injury then also you have a higher chances of having this fungal infection see athlete's foot can easily spread it can spread through direct contact contact with direct contact with the items such as shoes stockings right sh uh, your shower and pool surfaces because the foot actually spreads the fungus very easily so if you are coming in contact with somebody who has the infection you can have the infection if you have the infection what are the symptoms the most common symptom is is a is cracked flaking peeling skin between the toes that's the most common see if you find cracked peeling flaking skin between the toes you might have this infection now this uh, can have on one side or on uh, both the sides of the foot as well see the other symptoms which can have is red itchy skin right you might have burning or stinging pain you can even have blisters that ooze or get cus crusty in between the foot right in between the toes if the fungal infection can uh, spread if the fungal infection spreads to the nails then they can become the nails can become discolored they can thicken or even get crumbled see athlete foot athlete's foot may occur at the same time as other fungal or yeast infections such as jock itch which is the itching which happens under your pants right so what are the tests how you can diagnose here a doctor can actually diagnose an athlete food by simply looking at your skin and if sometimes tests are needed the tests can be done in the in the simple office test of a kh exam uh, of a fungus can be done by taking out skin scrapping uh, skin culture can be done skin biopsy may also be performed with a specialist uh, which is called a pass stain to identif identify the fungus but it's not necessary all the time treatment see over the counter antifungal powders or creams can help control the infection what does what do they contain see they contain antifungal medicines like meconazole clotrimazole terbinafine and tolnaflate all these things or one of these medicines can be there in those uh, over the counter antifungal powders antifungal creams you can use these you can use them without a prescription and you need to keep using these medicines one to two weeks after the infection has already all have cleared to prevent it from returning again and again it's very important to keep using them in addition you need to keep your feet clean and dry especially between your toes you need to wash your feet 
thoroughly with soap and water and dry the area carefully and completely try to do this at least twice a day and then to widen and keep the web spaces uh, that is the area between the toes dry use you can use lamb's wool basically you can use wool wool between this can be very easily available and sometimes you have uh, this available in your house you can wear clean cotton socks and change your socks and shoes as often as needed to keep your feet dry see <coughs> your shoes is uh, shoes uh, you can uh, you need to clean your shoes also wear your sandals or flip flops at if you actually uh, are going to public places public shower public fruit then wear sandals or flip flops right don't wear shoes and use anti fungal or drying powders to prevent prevent athlete fruits if you tend to get it very often or if you frequently go to such places where athlete's food uh, fungus can be very common like public showers if you go there then you should uh prevent by using dusting uh, anti fungal dusting powders see wear shoes that are well ventilated and made up of natural materials such as leather right leather and uh, <clears throat> it may help to actually alternate you it also it may also help to alternate shoes each day so that they can actually become completely dry don't wear the same shoe again and again and do not wear plastic lined shoes right uh, other canvas shoes are also very better very much better than leather also right if athlete shoes athlete's foot does not get better in 2 to 4 weeks of self care and frequently returns then uh you need to see a doctor doctor will provide you with antifungal medication to be taken from the mouth by the mouth and antibiotics may also be given to treat any any bacterial additional infection which have which might happen because of scratching prescription creams can also be given which can kill the fungus again remember these kind of athlete foods almost always responds well to self care although it may come back again and again but long term medicine and preventive measures uh, might be needed and the infection can spread to the toenail so don't worry uh, self care needs to be done and sometimes you can go to the doctor when should you go if you if your foot is swollen and if warm to touch especially if there is a red streak or pain if there is pain or bleeding then possibly there is a bacterial infection in addition to other things and other signs like pus or fever can also be there and sometimes uh, athletes foot care will not go away after 2 to 4 weeks of self care then you should go to a doctor remember athlete foot is the same thing as fungal infection tiniasis or ringworm of the foot tinea pedis it is very common you can prevent it you can easily treat it but you need to know about it so that's why i share this video with your friends and especially if you know any athlete this is really important for them so stay connected stay healthy